I thought of a, of a birthmark. We're all born, born with a certain mark, something you can't erase, something that follows you, uh, something that uh, defines you in many ways. I like the idea that it would be a piece of turquoise marked, something that might be the first uh, hammer of creating maybe a sculpture, something that if you try to erase it, it will destroy the rock, the, the, the turquoise. While with a, a pencil, and, and I'm, I was intrigued by the fact that she begins the second verse with the same entreaty, uh, never write with pencil. So obviously this is very important to the poet at this point. I'm interested in the fact that she breaks the lines differently at the beginning mm -hmm. yeah. and in the second yeah, stanza. Yep. <clears throat> the first stanza is never write with pencil. That's the first line. Mm -hmm. The second stanza is never write with pencil. What do you make of that change? She's leading up to saying that um, <clears throat> the, what the, the writing is an honest writing. In other words, whatever you do, daughter or son or you know, loved ones everywhere, um, make it make it honest, make it real. Use uh, what's in your environment, the berries, the the. Um, <clears throat> don't think about who's going to own it, who's going to own your book or own your image or own even you know where you're you're sitting and writing. Um, just, just do it. Just say what you want to say. And um, I think for me, the last lines remind me of political prisoners. They call up that image, mm -hmm. who actually have written in their own blood for centuries, because that was the only way they could get a message out. And although it's, this is done very gently at the end of the poem, it's a reminder of the importance of an individual voice. And that um, this this marked um, <clears throat> this idea of marking of of notations of uh, language is something that uh, very much includes everyone who's ever lived. I also uh, think, especially for young people approaching this poem, the idea of leaving a mark, and uh, young people tend to tag things. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. property of, this belongs to, or they'll go out into the street and tag and graffiti something, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, that, ki that kind of statement has always been with us. And then I also think of what kind of writing did the people use in the caves when they first mm -hmm. expressed themselves, you yeah, know? Yeah, did yeah. they use pencil? Well, obviously not. Mm -hmm. uh, did they use uh, uh, some kind of chisel? Did they use a pen? or mud, or berries even. And I think uh, this process of marking, mm. I think, is very important for us not to be forgotten, to be remembered for what we said or what we did. An artist marks their painting. Uh, a sculptor chisels his name, etc. And some people, the only thing they do with when they mark is say, yo soy, I am, mm. I was here. Kilroy was here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the poem ends with that word blood and the power of pouring out our souls, our spirits, our sangre, mm -hmm. um, I think is, is consonant with what Carmen says in some of her other poems about mm -hmm. taking a stand. Mm -hmm. And that word blood sitting all by itself on the line, rhyming with mud, mm -hmm. sitting all by itself almost on a line earlier. Mud, blood, the earthiness. We, we use what we've got around us, what we've got within us, and we take our stand. We, we are marked by the world and we mark the world. And it's musical. I mean, mm -hmm. the way the poem moves is musical. <laughs> It has a certain number of beats. The line breaks make it musical. The fact that the word blood, the way it's placed on the last line, it's almost like the, the end note. Mm 
It's just like, you know, and then this, it fades off in a song, mm. which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the fact that she chooses turquoise, you know, mm -hmm. that, is, that is the image, the jewel, the yeah. fact that this is a jewel. Um, you say, why, why that? Why the turquoise? Well, um, she could have chosen a diamond, an opal, an emerald, but the turquoise, of course, is native to certain parts mm -hmm. of the country. Mm -hmm. And Carmen herself loves that color, and she always, mm -hmm. you know, she always wears it, or, or sea green turquoise, or, mm -hmm. and um, so it's very special to her, I think. And because she does love it, she puts that love of it in the poem. I'm musing on those lines about berries, mm -hmm. right? With ink or mud or berries grown in gardens never owned. What's happening there? Why, why gardens never owned? Is it like we're stealing berries? We're using what, what comes to hand? even if it belongs to somebody else? I think berries uh, are part of the natural world. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, some people have lived in this area. The turquoise was mentioned, but also the fact that uh, this earth is our garden. Mm -hmm. Is it of earthly delights? Is it of the forbidden fruit? It's still a garden. And I think this poem provokes all of these uh, discussions as well as many more that we don't have time today to uh, explore. Mm 